What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and today we're going to be creating my own perfect football boot and we're going to be doing this by taking the best pieces of every boot on the entire market and then putting them together and at the final part of the video you're going to see what it would look like if it is the actual football boot and trust me it looks stunning but obviously that's only my personal favourite football boot which I could create but in the comment section below let us know which would make your perfect football boot as well and then we can maybe pick the best one that we think and then pin it in the comment section as well. So make sure you do comment but let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so category one is sole plates. So what would Maddie pick? One, we have the Hyperdim. So this is the Hyper Reactive Sole Plate. It's a nylon based design. Now we have the Superfly. So the Superfly is the thinnest sole plate in these three. It's the lightest sole plate as well. It's actually 40% lighter than the previous Superfly 4 design. And we also have the sole plate of the Pure Control, which is Sprint Frame. Same sort of sole plate you see on this Pure Cow. So Maddie, which one would you go for? Well, this is actually a very tight call. I actually do like each of these sole plates, and they are so different. If I were to break it down, I'd say the Hyper Reactive is very good because it's very flexible around the toe box, yep. which I think is brilliant. Yep. Obviously, that layered nylon chassis is something like you would never felt before. If you haven't worn the Superfly Vapor, it is crazy how your foot literally contours yep. with it. Yep. And then the Sprint Frame is just a very solid sole plate. Yep. But I think if I were to pick my favorite, I'd probably go for the Hyper and three with the Hyper Reactive. I think it's just the best of both worlds. It's very stiff in that mid portion. Yep. But then very flexible at the front. It's probably the most flexible I've felt in that midfoot portion at the front of it. Yep. But I think this is perfect. So this gets my pick as my sole plate. So category two, this is studs. So we see the same boots we saw on the sole plate, but we're looking at the studs here. So you have three studs on the hyperreactive sole plate. You've got chevron on the lateral, bladed in the middle, and hexagonal on the medial. On the superfly, it's all chevron. And on the pure control, it's all conical. So Maddie, which one would you go for? So I'm going to split it up into two straight away. I'm not going to go with the hyphen because you've got three different types of studs and that's just too many for me. So I'm going to go with the Mercurial or the Pure Control. Now the Pure Control with those conical studs are very traditional and I also quite like the depth. Yep. But what I love so much about the Mercurial is that they're actually quite long. They've got some good depth but the traction is next level. Honestly, if you pay on firm ground services, this is what's going to give you the best traction on the entire market. I'll promise you that. Honestly, when you change direction and also accelerate, there's no other boot like it because those chevron shaped studs do just are so aggressive on the grass. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to go with the Mercurial for the studs. So category three, we see uppers. Now pretty much the most important part of any yeah. foot boot is the upper. For sure. So the first one we're talking about is Flyner, all Flyner on the hybrid mm -hmm. there. And the second one is the Pure Control with that prime forefoot. And the third one is the Nike Zen, originally seen on the original Hybrid Phantom, as well as the Hybrid Finish 2, the one, the remade one that you yep. love. So which upper would you go for? This is a tough call, and as you said, it probably is the most important category when you're choosing any type of football boot. Now, this is kind of like the base construction, so it's not what you find on top of the upper. This is actually what the upper is made from. And one thing that I love so much about Nike's flying it is that it fits so much like a sock. I think it's amazing. It does give it a very soft like feel. I think that the primer of the Pure Control, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think it wraps my foot as much as I'd like it no. to. And then obviously what that Nike skin, and this is honestly one of the softest, most flexible uppers in the market. Yeah. But I just feel like it loses its structure a little bit. So what I'm gonna go with is the Flyknit off to the Hyper Venom, just because it gives them that soft like fit. But obviously we're gonna add a layer on top of the upper. Yeah. So as the base construction, I'm gonna go with the Flyknit of the Nike. So category four, another very important thing yeah. with the football boot is actually texture on the upper, so mm -hmm. on the pure cast. The first one we've got here, it's got the slash graphic, as you can see on that pure cut cover there, it's got that slash graphic. The second boot we're talking about is Honeycomb, so you saw on the original Home and Phantom yeah. and the Finish 2 version 2 model. And on the last one, we've got pour on pods, so on the medial side of the Hyphen Phantom 3. Maddie, which one would you go for? As you said, this is crazy important. Honestly, when you're striking the ball and touching it, you need to have that texture right. It's got to suit you well. Yep. Now, I actually love all these three, and that's obviously why we chose these three, because I think these are the best three on the market. Yep. I love the slash graphic or the pure cast. That's why I love the boot so much, for that sole reason. Yes. I think that's brilliant, nice and grippy. Yep. Obviously, the finish, my personal boot of choice, that honeycomb texture, it's so nice. It gives you a nice dampening effect when you touching it but also some nice grip and also some cushioning features as well yes. and then pour on pods probably the most high tech kind of texture on any yeah. football boot right now it's actually got some pour on pods in there which apparently they kind of soften the ball when you touch it yeah. but then give you a bit more purchase when you strike it with power yeah. 
This is a very difficult one, as I said. I think I'm just going to have to go with the finish. Obviously, it's my personal favourite boot on the market, and obviously, it's the one that I've been wearing for about two seasons now. So, it suits me perfectly. I just think it's brilliant. And obviously, what we're going to do now is add that layer on top, which again is very important. But category four goes with the finish. So category five, as Maddie said, is the last layer on the upper. Some boots, like the Hyphen Finish, doesn't actually have three layers. It just has two, the Honeycomb and the Nike Skin. So we're talking about the Control Skin on the Pure Control to the very thin layer on top of the Primate and the upper there. The same with Pure Chaos, we're talking about the very thin upper itself. And on the Superfly, the Nike Skin on top of that Flyknit, which skin would you go for? Well, skins on top of the upper, they're all going to be incredibly thin. That's what they're there for. They add a little bit of waterproofing, also hold the structure, and also the best ones give you a little bit of extra grip. So that's kind of the three kind of categories and features you want of a skin. Now, they are all really good. I think the control skin on the Ace is really good. I love it. I think it's nice and grippy. The Pure Cast one is very thin, not as grippy as the control skin, but again, still very thin. And then we've got the Nike skin. Nike skin has been around for the longest. I think Nike smash it. It's on almost all of their football boots, maybe apart from the TM Pogo, this leather, obviously. Yep. But all of their synthetics and the Elite synthetics, they've got the Nike skin. Now, the two things I love about it so much, as I mentioned before, it's very, very thin. You can't even almost feel it on feet. Yep. But it gives you such nice grip on the ball. I love it, especially if you are playing on kind of wet conditions. It just gives you a little bit more, so you can just play those parts with a bit of purchase, a bit yep. of shape. Yep. So that is why I'm going to go with the Nike skin on the Nike football boots. So now category six, another very important thing with yeah. modern day football boots is the silhouette slash collar. So the Superfly collar is pretty much the full bang mid cut design. Yeah. It's pretty much the highest collar you can get in a football boot. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the pure cast with that Tefit collar, just sits below the ankle. And we're talking about the standard traditional low cut design. Which one would you go for? So, so far, I think each category has been a really difficult choice, but this one is pretty easy. We can get rid of the Superfly mid cut. I'm not interested in that. The Tech Fit, isn't too bad, it's still coming up a little bit too much around my ankle and also that one doesn't fit as well as I like. I like it on Ace a little bit more, but it has to be a low cut for me. I think this is the most simple choice. Yeah. I think this is such a personal preference thing. I think with uppers and soul plates and studs, they can all be like, yeah, you can like a few of them, but I think in terms of a silhouette, it has to be right for you. Yeah. And for me, it's not a mid cut, I don't like that, and I don't really know why it came to the forward market, and I hope it actually goes away very soon, so I don't think it's needed. I think it's a bit of a gimmick, and also it's very expensive. So not that one. The tech fit for me, as I said, it doesn't wrap around my ankle as tight as I want it to, and I don't even like the colour, so it has to be the low cut, and in this situation, it's a high and three low. So category seven is the heel counters. Now you can have internal heel counters and external heel counters. You've gone for three external heel counters. So the first one is that pure chaos external heel counter. It merges with that sprint frame design. So the next one is the external heel counter on the Hyphen Phantom 3. It's yep. also on the DF version as well. And the last one talk we're talking about is the external heel counter on the Ebu Touch. So three big solid external heel counters. Mm -hmm. Which one would you go for? Now the reason I like heel counters and for them to be external, two reasons. Firstly, I think it just gives me a nice level of look down around the back of my ankle. I really do feel like I can feel a difference compared to an external to an internal. So that's reason number one. And the second reason is I think it just looks really good. Obviously, I was brought up on the Predator Mania boots, Predator yes. Mania oh, yeah. and the Predator Absolute. So all these boots are that real block external heel counter. So it's something which I just personally like. Now when we split them up into three different boots, we've got the Pure Cast, which wraps around the back of the boot, which I quite like. I quite like the shape of it as well. It is quite reminiscent of those old Adidas boots. Yep. The High Venom 3, I'm actually not a big fan of how it goes underneath, just at the back. I'd rather it wrap the entire way around, yep. but I guess they've had to do it because of that Nike switch at the back with the brand is. And the Evo Touch is very similar to the Pure Chaos, but I think in terms of the way the boot actually looks, I think the Pure Chaos gets the bow. So that is my choice of the external heel cut. So category eight, lacing systems. Another very important thing in terms of modern day football boots with responsiveness, we have the Ossina lacing of the Hyman Phantom 3 PF. So a larger ball striking surface, yeah. great for shooting, and a central lacing system on the Superflow. So great for responsiveness. We've also got Ossina on the Obra. Yeah. Instead of going towards that way, it goes towards the medial side of the boot, so a larger control surface. But out of these two, which one would you go for? So I'll go for the off center of the high venom. Now for me, the reason for this is I like a larger striking surface. But if you're a wide fitted player, off center lacing to that side of the boot, to the lateral side, also gives you a little bit more room inside. So someone like you, yes. off center lacing is perfect. perfect for you in terms of fit. But in terms of me and performance, I like it just because it does give you a slightly larger striking surface. But to be fair, if you want something very traditional, then central lacing is for you. But for me, off center is the way to go. 
So category nine, and the final category before we reveal Maddie's perfect football boot, yep. colorway design. Another very important thing when you're buying a pair of football boots is colorway and design. Yep. We've got red and black, we've got vault and black, or solid yellow and black, and just pretty much all black. Which one? This is a tough call. I love red and black. Very traditional colorway, especially if you're an Adidas fan or those old predators. Yep. That was the colorway to have. Bowl and black is the more modern day one. I think that's really sharp and you cannot go wrong with a triple black blackout. I think it looks ultra sharp. Now obviously colorways are very important for anyone. I wouldn't wear green boots. You probably know that if you watch our videos. I don't really like green, I don't like pink. But for me, it has to be that traditional red and black. You can see it on the pure control there. I just think it looks very classical, but also quite modern at the same time, and especially if you have more of the red compared to the black. I think that looks amazing. So for me, I'll go for the red and black colorway. So, here it is. This is Maddie's perfect football boot. What is it? It is... That. Yes, that looks real decent. So Blake actually created this yourself, so I think this is yes. a great job. I love the way it looks, but let's get into the actual tech specs. So, personally, I actually rate this football boot as well. I would definitely wear it because I've got wide feet. But again, it's got a low cut, so a low cut design. You can't go wrong with a low cut design. Very yeah. traditional. Off center lacing, so a larger ball striking surface. Yeah. Perfect for Maddie's long balls. Flying it upper, very, very thin, comfortable, flexible. Yep. Nice skin on top for waterproofing and you know, it's great for durability as well. And the honeycomb texture, that's pretty much the exciting part of this boot. Great grip, great touch on the ball. Exactly. Taking over, we've got the hyperactive sole plate. I think it's nice and stiff in that mid foot, but nice and flexible in a toe box. Brilliant. Chevron studs, all about traction being the centre half. I need to be able to get away from the player very nice and quickly, yep. or try and trap that attacker very quickly as well, so they'd be perfect for me. Pure Chaos Hill counter, more to do with looks than anything else. And again, in terms of looks, we've got that red and black colorway. And I think it looks stunning on this Hyphen and Phantom 3 Low. Yes. I think this is pretty much the boot to have right now. Nike, if you're watching, please make this for me. But that pretty much wraps up the video. And yes. as I said, guys, let us know in the comment section below what would make your own perfect boot. And the best one, in our opinion, gets a pin in the comment section below. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. So thanks for watching, as always. We'll see you next time.